Welcome to our very first vlog of Majestic Train Travel. I didn't think I'd ever actually be making this type of vlog, but I felt it was important for my viewers as well as my clients uh, to get my opinion and to share their opinions on this very controversial subject. So let's go right into it because I don't want this video to be super long. But Disney's new DAS system, Disability Access. What are your opinions on it? Let me cover some of what I've been informed of and then uh, we'll go from there. So under the old system, I did qualify for DAS and let me first state, I do have a love for Disney. Uh, this is not a hate on Disney directly. Um, as you can see from behind me on my wall, I have a ton of Disney merch. I love my, I love Disney. With that being said, I do not like the new DAS system. Um, again, under the old system, I qualified it in a heartbeat for DAS. Um, I do have multiple medical conditions. Um, I'm not going to get into what those are, but... Um, and I had no problem. Uh, on a side note, I also qualify for Universal's disability uh, uh, system. Um, and the Universal actually uses a third party to confirm uh, your disability status. I believe it's called ICE. Uh, let me look it up exactly what it's called. IBCCES. And they qualify you for Universal, and based on their findings, then Universal will determine whether you qualify for their disability uh, program. Um, and I do qualify for Universal, and I still do. In fact, I've been told by Universal that I'm qualified for life over in Universal. All right. And with that, with that being said, also I am a fully aware that a lot of people were abusing. Disney's DAS system in the past, um, which, you know, hurt, hurts everybody. When you abuse a system, it does uh, hurt those that do need the system. Um, so Disney has changed their disability. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry about my dog. But so under the new system, um, I have been told directly, and this is a quote from the person, the uh, cast member that I spoke with to try to uh, re-register for my DAS at Disney. The only people that qualify for DAS now are people with autism. Now that is not to take anything away from anybody with autism. I know that is also a serious uh, condition and I'm not putting anybody down that has that condition at all. This has nothing to do with the uh, anybody like that it's the fact that disney is now only qualifying people for das if you have autism and that was a direct quote from the cast member that was try that went trying to re-register me for das with that being said i was left with two options the first option is ride share where your par part of your party goes on the ride when they get off the ride, uh, I'm sorry, it's called white rider swap. When they get off the ride, you can swap with them and you get to go on the ride. So right there, they're splitting up families or parties that are trying to enjoy the park together. The other option is a return to queue. Um, basically, you get a hold of a cast member, you, exp you let them know that uh, you, you need a return to queue time because of, of disability. They give you, uh, they, they will let, uh, give you a return to queue time uh, based on where you are in the line, currently in the line. But the rest of your party has to remain on that line. So you are, again, separated from your family or party during that time while you're trying to enjoy the park together. Um, I think this is very unfair to people with disabilities, with legitimate disabilities. Um, 
I do, like I said, I do understand that people in the past have abused Disney's DAS system. I think Disney could have came up with either a better system or maybe even done what Universal has done and used the third party, the ICBB uh, S, to qualify people with disabilities and go from, from, uh, from there. Instead, they're taking this approach, and it's for me, to me, for me, it's an outrage to say that only people with autism now qualify for the DAS. And it's not right. It's not fair to the other people with uh, severe disabilities that can't wait in long lines or out in the heat all the, all the time. Um, I'd like to hear your opinion. Make sure, uh, comment in the comments below your opinion on Disney's new DAS system. Um, whether you feel it's good, whether you feel it's bad, whatever your opinion is, I'd love to hear your opinion. Um, if you found this video helpful, I would hope uh, appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the channel if you, uh, you'd like to see more of these type of videos and vlogs. Um, but with that said, um, I have a feeling Disney's in for what could be a very devastating uh, effect from this new DAS system because I can pretty much bet that somebody with a disability that qualified in the past but does not qualify now because they just don't have autism is going to wind up getting hurt, sick, or ill at the park and it's going to create a problem. Um, I've heard horror stories even regarding the return to queue that cast members aren't around to give you a time to return to queue. Um, some rides aren't uh, putting that into effect. I've heard Tron for one is one that does not recognize that. Um, so, and unfortunately as a travel agent, um, I will not deny booking a trip for Disney for somebody or a family. But if a family does have anybody with any type of disability that uh, waiting in lines would affect, I personally would not be able to recommend a Disney trip. I would actually have to recommend Universal over Disney or somewhere else um, at the current time. Unless Disney changes their uh, disability access policies, again, to accommodate more people with disabilities other than just autism, I cannot in good faith recommend Disney as a trip for a family, especially if they have anybody with a disability. That is just my opinion. Um, but again, I'd love to hear yours. Maybe put it in the comments below. I will definitely respond. Uh, we can have an op uh, de uh, open debate on it. Um, and try to have a great day. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.